Hey all you guys and girls, stay tuned and I'm going to tell you how you can farm emeralds like there's no tomorrow. Coming up next. Welcome back everyone. Um, first off, you're going to need a bit of prep for this because you can get emeralds any stage of the game. However, your best bet is to have some gear on that will help. So if you have a little look, make sure you take tabs of that number that's in the top left. So at the moment I've got 2004. Now, the best thing you can have as far as I'm aware is one of these. A diamond pickaxe. If you can find a diamond pickaxe that has prospector on it, chuck it on. I have not found any. I have, however, found one of these that had absolutely rubbish enchantments on it, except for three of these. So we've got triple prospector on this. Believe it or not, that's pretty handy. So chuck whatever you can on your build, prospector-wise, or for the extra, extra farming of the emeralds. And then what you'll want to do is put on something like an ember robe, something with a little bit of... Um, little bit of extra movement speed to it and then obviously a movement speed down here as well with your boots of swiftness and then the best place you want to go to would be over here now this is the secret mission um, if you don't know where that is I'll put a link up in the description but hopefully you've completed enough of the game to know where that is now um, if you if you haven't got a secret mission, literally just find anywhere in the game where a lot of ads spawn. Pretty much everywhere, to be fair. As long as you're running through it, you'll get a lot of ads. I wouldn't recommend the uh, the creepy cave or creepy cavern. I wouldn't wouldn't recommend that because most things blow up. So, like I said, 2004 we've started off with. Also, one thing to note, you do not need to worry about the level. The amount of emeralds that drops is exactly the same on high as it is on low. So you could put this to whatever difficulty you want. At the moment, I've just got it on Adventurer 4, I believe. No, 6. Adventurer 6. But if I want to put it to all the way down to the lowest mode possible and just one hit everything, I quite easily could. So, trying to show you bunching them up and there's not many here ah, that's a little bit better yeah so as you can see this thing doesn't hit very hard because obviously I have actually put it to a slightly higher difficulty level than I need to have it at just because I've got to change it but if you had it a lower one, you'd be halfway through the map right now. Now that's better. Uh, another good thing to have on, if you've got it slightly too high for yourself because you want to get a bit more experience about, about your game, then chuck on a gong so that you'll weaken them. If you're not bothered about that in the slightest, then probably your best bet will be chuck on a mushroom or two lots of boots, just to get through the level quicker. Now this level in itself has quite a few um, quite a few drops of emeralds from the uh, pots like you saw back there. But like I said, it's mainly just bunching the things together I must admit we haven't been the luckiest with the maps. The spawns on this map seem a bit, a bit lackluster. And also, what I haven't got on this because I accidentally sold it before I come into this mission is you'll want to put on gravity on your. Well, I think it's called gravity. Whatever the one is that pulls them all in but you don't put on your weapon you put on your um, armor that one 
pretty much the armor version of Gravity. Um, yeah, because if you can get triple Prospector, especially if you've got it on one of those uh, diamond pickaxes, you will be getting emeralds left, right, and center. Ah, this is better. Right, this is what a map should look like. But another good thing is, because there's so many ads in this, they often drop quite a lot of gear. So pick that up. And the boss as well, the boss very, very often drops a... Uh, the boss very, very often drops a... Um, I keep wanting to say legendary. Drops a rare. And they are very very good for selling. So just keep doing this. As you can see I haven't even got this on a very high difficulty. And the Prospector as well, they're two away from the top on two of them. So we could be getting more. I'm just showing you roughly what I think is the best thing to do at the moment. So I think if I remember correctly, we had about 2,000 mark. So pick up everything that drops. Yeah, we would have been a lot faster on in this as well if we'd have uh, put it down a little bit. This isn't hitting anywhere near as hard as I thought it would. There now. Obviously, if you don't want to go every which way, you can just run straight to the boss and then kill him. Hopefully, get a gold drop, which is worth about 100, 125, I believe, uh, of emeralds. But sometimes I tend to go everywhere just to just to see what drops, because obviously, the more you get, the more emeralds you get. But yeah, like I said, basically get yourself a little bit of a, a little bit of a speed boost. I would recommend as well, definitely get yourself or or put on your better items when you're fighting the boss, just so it doesn't take quite as long. Because this probably would have taken about five times as long as the other one. Oh, we've been unlucky there, it's only a green. However, let's see, we'll go back to camp, we'll sell everything off, and we'll see roughly how much we made. And that was probably a slow run actually, and I think that probably took about three minutes, give or take. Right, so we're back at base, and like I said, we started off at around about the 2000 mark. I can't remember if we had that one or not. I don't think we did, but we might have. Um, so we've made roughly, we'll give it the benefit of that and say 85 of that isn't genuine. Uh, so we've made roughly 700 there. And obviously if there was a gold one, we would have made a little bit more. So 700, even if you made 500 a run, 500, if you're doing it really, really good, you can probably get the run down to about two minutes. Um, 500 every two minutes is absolutely amazing for this game and even though it doesn't sound like much it really is and like I said we haven't got a maxed out one what you would want as a maxed out one would definitely be three prospectors on this bad boy right here so it's got find more emeralds built in and then you get three maxed out prospectors on that run through on the lowest difficulty the cow one Bish bash bosh, job done. You'll be getting about 700, 800, maybe even 900 each time. And 
that's pretty much sorted, to be perfectly honest. You'll be getting maybe 10,000 every, we'll say, hour, hour and a half. You can't go wrong, really. Right, people, I hope that's helped you a little bit. Obviously, like I said, if you haven't got this, then don't worry too much. Just go to find, uh, go to somewhere that's actually got quite a lot of clumped up enemies. Run through the level using gear such as this, so that you've got a bit of speed about yourself. And just whack them on the head with your prospector item. Okay, people. Take care. And as always, if you liked it, hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I will bring you lots more Minecraft content and lots more Xbox stuff. So hit that like, hit that subscribe, and as always, I'll see you on the next day. Take care.